Today I'm going to be surviving out in the wild using only LEGO tools. And I'll have six hours to build all my weapons and tools before I'll be transported out into the freezing wilderness to survive. And the clock starts now. First things first, we have to build our survival tools. Let's start with the knife. We need to find a LEGO piece that is sharp. My go-to piece for like looking for something sharp is one of these slopes because it's sharp. <laughs> so we want to interlock as many pieces as possible for the knife because this is going to be used to like cut stuff. I don't know how well it's going to work, but if we use plates like this, we can interlock a bunch of them to make it really strong. So that seems like a good length. And then we'll keep going with more plates and bricks and we'll build the handle on one side. And to curve the rest of this front part, we'll just build in some Lego slopes to make it actually sharper. Did someone say sharpness 3000? <laughs> And then if we put the slope here, look at that. Is that a knife or what? That's awesome. I'm also gonna add some of these pieces on top to make it sharper. I don't know if this will actually work, but it feels like it kind of would, so I'm just gonna. I've actually done the survival thing outside before. You guys might remember, but that wasn't during winter. So this time we're gonna have to build stuff to actually survive the cold and the wind and snow. Oh yeah, that'll totally cut something. Hey, maybe it'll cut better than the last one. Who knows? Now we gotta build the handle around it. And the way I'm gonna do that is just with these brackets, I think because if we put one there, put one sort of up, up there like that, we can do that on both sides, and then we can add a plate on top and build out our handle from there. If we add a couple of these on the outside of this, we should be able to build up a pretty decent handle. And we finished our Lego knife. Here's in Captain America. This is pretty dangerous looking. That took about 30 minutes, and we still gotta build a bunch more gear, though. The next thing I'm gonna build are some snowshoes. You know those tennis racket-looking things they used to put on the bottom of their shoes? I'm pretty sure they actually work. So my plan is to grab some brown plates and assemble them in a waffle-looking pattern, and then add some Lego joints so that they can actually go over my shoes. The whole goal of these racket things is to make it so that you don't sink into the snow, because your weight gets distributed more evenly. I'm just trying to make the treads wider, and th it is kind of working. The important thing is that it's flex flexible, but it doesn't break like that. So we basically want each connection to overlap by four. I'm just trying to lock everything together and who knows if these will even work, but we do have a wider area of contact with the snow now, so that's a plus. All right, this thing is actually pretty strong. Here's a crack. Now we need to actually attach this to the boot. So to do that, I'm gonna grab some bionicle joints. We'll build kind of a rig and then just use some little ball joint things. We can build those in there like that. The thing about these types of Lego builds is you're only as strong as your weakest link, which right now is these pieces here. So we need to build something over these, maybe using Technic to really lock that in. Cause that'll be the first thing to break and then I'll just be stumbling around in the cold. So if we build one of these and one of these, and these are both on brackets so we can attach them, since this is so big, we can kind of put it right up through here and they'll push against each other, which means you can't pull it up. So this is strong now. Let's build the rest and then duplicate it for the other one. <laughs> And boom, now we got working snowshoes that'll fit around the boots we already have. The next tool I wanna build is an ice pick. And I actually already have one of those, but this one, it totally broke apart during the video. So I'm gonna take this design and basically reverse engineer it and re-certify this entire top pick shape. Real quick, you guys, make sure to check out this video sponsor, Crazy Kai's Brickling Store. They have a ton of different pieces in stock in all different colors. I order from them because they ship fast and they're super, super nice over there. I think they even have some signed Brick Science bricks left too, so order soon. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is actually move these two bricks to the top because that'll squeeze everything underneath it together. And we put two plates in between these Technic bricks, so essentially we can sandwich them together. But two plates is also the perfect measurement to allow us to take a Technic beam like this and snap it on top. And that's how you lock together Lego to make it stronger. Also for this build, instead of using a lot of plates, I'm gonna use these thinner bricks. That'll make it stronger and we'll have two opportunities to interlock because we can put them like that. It's already a lot better than the first one, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and now we just have to do the handle. So this time we're gonna put on longer Technic beams that go all the way. And then I'm gonna change the color from orange to blue because orange is so last build. All right, and now we have our upgraded pickaxe. I also added this little strap on the back using these mixel joints. The next thing I wanna build up is a trail pack that I'm gonna fill up with cool, like working Lego gadgets we can use as we go along to survive. So to build this trail pack, I think if I grab a bunch of six by six plates, I can make a mesh that will hopefully be flexible and bag shaped. Stop, that's sick. Wow, now you know what I'm gonna call this? Flex Flexbranium. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
check it out, we got a bag. This is uh, pretty janky right now. I'm almost done building though. I just wanna add a simple flap to the top and then a strap that goes all the way around and then I just gotta go in on the inside here. Put more plates on the bottom of all these joints. It's gonna not be as useful if it's not sturdy. So let's hope it is. Check it out, I built the strap out of Technic for the bag. This thing is super strong. It's like a tread, literally. We'll just do one strap on the back because it's just easier. Now we just gotta build a few tiny survival gadgets. And now that we finally have all our stuff, we are ready to go out and survive. So let's get geared up. So here we are, outside, <laughs> really far away from home. The goal is to travel three clicks that way to receive a communication device so that I can call for transport. I have no idea how far a click is, but I know the device is that way. <laughs> also, my bag already broke while I was walking out here. There goes that. Let's start with the snowshoes. So essentially, the way these work is they're not supposed to go through the snow. We put our boot in, a step down, Clip these. Snowshoes are in place. They kind of work. They're not falling off yet, so that's a plus. Wow. I'm kind of impressed with this. Just gotta take careful steps, and this very much encourages me to do that. It is kind of keeping me on top of the snow, so I'd say these work. I'm gonna go this way. Oh no. I lost one. We still got one. Ah. Well, they worked for a little bit, but then they broke off, so. This is so tiring already. The thing you realize about being outside in the winter is it's cold and draining. Even though we don't have the snowshoes, we gotta keep going. Make it back. So the snowshoes in the bag are already 0 for 2. Hopefully the pickaxe and the knife will actually work. The important thing about wilderness winter survival is staying warm. So, probably don't take your hat off like I did but look over here, there's a little wolf den. Let's stay clear of that area. So we gotta go up this way. I thought it'd be really smart and I also built this little Lego sundial to tell the time. What you do is you stick it in like that and then you look where that arrow's pointing. You point that arrow north right there and you see the shadow that it's casting on that and then you read the time. Unfortunately though, I didn't put in the 12 hours it would take to mark the time, but if you had marked the time, it would have worked. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed about that, but. One of my goals I want to accomplish on the way is building a shelter with my Lego ties to test if those will work. Last time I made some and they're made out of Technic and they just really were terrible. So this time I'm hoping these ones will actually work. It looks like we're about to enter a nice wooded area where we can grab some dead branches and start building a little shelter. This looks like a nice little place to build a shelter. We can add some branches up on this side and that side there, as long as this doesn't fall. It looks to be pretty strong, so. And look, we already have a bunch of cut branches. Wow, this is nice. Seriously, I didn't do this. There's just all these branches here. Cut branches. Put the thick end up there. Grab another. Now, I'm kind of new to building tree forts, but with the addition of these Lego ties I've made, I think we can actually tie together some of these branches. Snap it together. That thing ain't coming off, I guess. I mean, it might still come off, but this is great. So you don't have to have twine or anything. You just use Lego. It's quite genius if I do say so myself. I'm gonna finish building this thing so we can take a little breather. Boom, shelter. We only use like three Lego ties. You can see them there, there, and there. The important thing is that you take the ties before you leave because they're Lego and they're plastic. But we got our shelter. Check that off the lick. I'm tired. Lego ties actually do work, so. Wind's picking up, we gotta get a move on. But next up, we can test our pickaxe. See if we can get up this hill, our ice pick. Best way to do this, I think, to toss the rest of our stuff up this hill and then use our ice pick to see if we can make it up. So, let's see if this thing works. Grip in. Nope, this is ice. <laughs> the pickaxe doesn't work amazing, but. Oh, oh gosh. It kind of works. It went into the snow. I lost some of the pickaxe pieces, but I made it up this hill. Wow, that is actually way steeper from up here. It looks like it's not that hard, but actually, that was quite difficult. We can pick up our stuff, keep moving. I think we're gonna make a V-line for those trees over there. Try and get out of the wind because it's wind chill and it's cold. I tell you, this is difficult. Very deep. All right, we've made it to the trees. So I'm gonna set down my stuff. 
One other thing I brought is this Lego water bottle. I've been drinking from this the whole time to stay hydrated, so this is honestly the best thing of the whole video. This is official Lego. It works. Pretty cool too, it's got a little stud on top, so this is dope. I'd say Lego tools are working pretty good. Not amazing on the on the shoes and stuff, but those aren't as practical. We are in an area with a lot of trees. There's civilizations that way. I'm gonna get my knife because this could be where the dangerous predators hang out, like bears and wolves. There have been mountain lions and stuff out here. I mentioned in the last video, luckily we didn't see any, but we can actually test it on some of these branches to see if it'll cut. It is sharp, it's scraping, but it's just not cutting. Oh wait, there we go. Hey, I mean, it's Lego, okay? It's a pretty decent knife, not amazing. I think you can get in one good stab. You can carve. This this is a great knife. What am I saying? This is... Oh. This goes here. I think it's a bird. We're getting close. Oh, no. Really? It's out here somewhere. It's in a tree. I, I don't know where it is. I found tracks this way. Ah, I see it. It's in my sights. Here's the bag. Oh, yes. My broken bag. So can you actually survive in winter using Lego survival tools and weapons? I mean, I did. So technically, yes. <laughs> and here is the communications device. Let's get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, check out part one of this video where I survived in the wilderness using only Lego tools and weapons. And subscribe. <laughs> see ya.